Hi guys, it's Anna from Anna's Magical Moments. So this is going to be um, our Sunday news feature. And because this weekend is Star Wars Celebration, uh, which is being hosted in Chicago, so this is going to be a lot more focused on Star Wars than maybe usual. I mean, you know, when you have a convention host hosted by Lucasfilm, a lot of Star Wars news is going to be released this week. So, but to, before we even start on that, um, they have announced Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party dates. So starting on November 8th and going until December 22nd um, on select nights you can purchase your your very merry Christmas party tickets. So tickets start at $99 and usually it's the dates that are farthest away from Christmas are tend to be. So November dates are cheaper but the, as you get closer to Christmas they go up. So um, like I think when I checked like the the 22nd is like $139. Uh, I think kids are about $5 less than adult tickets. And, um, and you know, annual pass holders and DVC members also get their discount on the tickets. So, you know, contact your local travel agent like me and we can get you guys booked for your, you know, that part of your Disney vacation. Uh, another really big, big news item this week from Disney is Disney, the announcement of Disney Plus. So, um, Disney has been talking about this, but they finally released the, the, the prices. Um, it will be $6.99 a month or $69 a year. And, you know, and they've, they've, they've kind of been announcing a little bit, like, in the past few months about some of the shows that might be coming. Um, so you'll have a lot of Marvel, Marvel shows, some featuring Scarlet Witch and Vision and, like, Loki and um, I believe like uh, Hawkeye and, and Falcon are gonna have like shows. I'm not sure if they have their own show, but like just just Marvel related shows. And then also you're gonna have uh, you know the Star Wars shows. And actually today the the trailer for the Mandalorian got released. Now apparently like for like Friday and and like and Saturday's trailers they like had it all live. They didn't block any of it out. But apparently they've blocked like my friend was watching it live I was actually at lunch um, my friend was watching it and they said when they released the the actual like trailer or teaser they actually blocked it out on the live stream um, of course you know people are still in the audience recording and actually like, there's like one YouTube thing if you catch it before they take it down uh, you'll get to see some of the um, the trailer um, I don't really know how I feel about it it looks cool I'll probably catch it um, but you know can't wait to see it but I'm not sure like if it'll be something I'll rush out to see um, personally I probably will subscribe to Disney Plus because it's, it's 70 bucks a year and there's a lot of channels um, but it's also like how many streaming services do I need you know I have Hulu Netflix uh, you know uh, Amazon Prime um, and HBO Go uh, so it's like gosh like there's a lot of I mean that's probably probably the price of your cable network um, by the time you add in all these streaming services. But um, but I'm still probably gonna just like purchase it so I can watch those shows. But you know, is it something that you're considering getting, or you're just gonna be like, whatever, I'll watch the shows whenever I watch the shows. Um, but yeah, so that's like one big news. Um, it'd be interesting to see how that goes. Um, and of course, if you. <laughs> If you haven't heard, the episode 9 trailer finally got released and the title for the new Star Wars movie got released. It's Rise of Skywalker. Um, and I'm not going to go over the trailer very much because, you know, this is more overall Disney news, but the trailer is out. Go to YouTube, go, I mean, it's been on TV channels. Like, if you really want to go see it, you can go see it. Um, and form your own trailers. Personally, I'm cautiously optimistic. I liked Last Jedi, but I didn't like some things about Last Jedi, so I'm hopefully, I'm really, I, I'm cautiously optimistic, um, to steal my fiance's words. And so, but I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars nut, so I'll, I'll probably like it anyways. So yeah, so, um, and then, the Galaxy's Edge panel that, that Star Wars Celebration hosted was yesterday, and they did a few little announcements about some of the information was like information that's already been out there, like the food, like, like um, you know, like the rides. They, we really didn't get any like more information on like the rides than we've already, already had, 
but um, they, they did release the Coke designs. So they're, they're creating a new, um, they partnered with Coke um, to create like something that kind of looks like in the Star Wars universe. And to me, they look like, like thermal detonators, like in Return of the Jedi, Leia had the thermal detonator, um, except for, you know, you can unscrew it and sip your Coke or Diet Coke or Sprite or water. Well, the, the bottle water doesn't have, doesn't look like a thermal detonator, just, just has the Arabesh. Um, and one of their exclusives that they gave out, because they tend, for the bigger panels, they give out exclusives, um, is this Star Wars shirt that I'm wearing right now. And it's pretty much Coke, Coca-Cola, and Arubesh. And apparently this is the only, only place you can get these shirts that has, well, the regular Coke logo on one side, and then Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on the left sleeve. So it's a pretty cool shirt. I really like it. Um, definitely not going to get rid of it. And, um, you know, and so that was interesting. They also announced that their, I mean, the play, the play app, like the Disney play app has been out before, but they revealed more information that how it's going to be integrated into the parks. So um, you'll have the app and it, it kind of reminds me of like in Universal how you, when you have the wands, you go to these little stations and you do like your, you know, like when Guardian Leviosa spell and then the spell like does something, you know, it's, you know, it has a little like extra like little zing in the parks that is really fun. Well, apparently instead of, you know, because we don't have app and we don't have wands in Star Wars, um, it's kind of like you can get to hack certain things, you get to um, slice into things or like just unlock certain things around the park. So it kind of remind me of, of Wizard, you know, the Wizard Royal of Harry Potter in that regards. So that's going to be kind of a fun little thing to add to your experience if you choose to do that. Um, and, you know, they revealed more information about that. And, you know, and it was, it was really cool to see like some of the other stuff I mean I've seen because like, I do keep up with like a lot of the Galaxy's Edge news because because I absolutely am excited for it um, you know some of it was like just stuff that we've already seen um, and then there's just they had they had more pictures and and more you know more clips of, of the park and um, I'm forgetting his name off the top of my head he played he's Olaf's voice and Gand Oh, I forgot. He was actually the host of the panel, which was cool. And, you know, he actually said that he, he made a statement after, um, towards the end of the panel, that he actually, he cried. Um, and, I, you know, we've, like, they've, they've told us before that pretty much grown, grown Star Wars men are going to be crying left and right when they go to the park. And, I mean, I cry a lot, so <laughs> I will probably be crying so hard when I get there. You know, I'll be like, oh my god, it's so like awesome. You know? <laughs> but um, I can't wait. Um, we're going in October, um, and I'm super excited. And But yeah, um, that's just like really brief recap of some news this past week. And until next Sunday for Disney News uh, and other park news, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Subs oh, hit subscribe and... and like and everything. So talk to you guys later. Bye.